um, work. It's a series. We have series of activities to celebrate October, which we call Pink October. So basically, how it started is um, last year we realized that a lot of organizations and charities were having little little events in, to raise awareness for breast cancer. So this year, we about ten organizations came together and said, before we each do everything in a little corner of our own, because Minembolo Moy Dollar, we decided to come together. So coming together, that's when we created the Gambia Association Cancer League. So with that, then the series of activities we have, initially we launched the Pink October on the 5th, and then today is the cancer walk, just to raise awareness and to just let people know what cancer, that cancer is curable, and as long as it's prevented and there's awareness. And then on the 26th, we have a gala dinner and a fashion night, where again, it's a cultural night where we would showcase the La Excellence brand and the Ruru hair doll. And then the 1st and the 2nd November, we would have a screening program where we have a mobile clinic, that's coming all the way from Dakar with oncologists and everything and then they will screen about 300 women at the Arch 22. So this is the second part of Pink October. I come here because uh, the initiative of Ajikumba and Ajinde uh, to put awareness on cancer because it affects us as women. That's why I'm here to participate, even not as a protocol, but as a woman of the Gambia, to come and make solidarity with those who are organizing this Ajikumba Dafe and Ajinde Dafe. I want to just enlighten cancer a little bit. I know every woman. If you wake up early in the morning, please light up straight, check your breast. If it is paining, try to consult a doctor. The easiest party, party, party to eradicate cancer is by testing yourself and be at least aware of what is cancer. Cancer is a huge concern for a whole lot of people. Personally, I lost an aunt through breast cancer seven years ago, and um, it was a wake up call for me at that point to realize that this is actually a problem. Sadly, quite a lot of Gambians die from this all the time, and it's rather unfortunate that we do not have the medical equipment and tools to ensure that cancer patients, especially breast cancer, receive the treatment that they deserve. So this is part of the things that motivated me because this is not just a work, it's a fundraising activity as well um, to raise funds for the purchase of a mammogram machine for, for the Gambia. So I think this has been the main reason why I, I decided to join the walk out of concern for all the people that have lost their lives and people that are currently suffering from cancer um, and also realizing that the, there is a need for us to equip our medical facilities with enough equipment to support these this patients or victims.
up with um, Surah Fatiha and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept this um, walk and to make sure that cancer is something we fight against and to bring us together year in, year out on this fight. So we do Surah Fatiha and ask Allah to accept this walk for us. Always been there in the shaitan. Always been there in the shaitan. 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا السرات المستقيم سرات الذين أنت عليهم قير المعدود ولا الدال نامين اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما سليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين جلال الحمد Yeah, 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 long me on. So I'll just call upon um, the Honorable Minister of Education, Mrs. Claudia A. Cole, to lead us in prayer as a Christian man. Can we continue in prayers, please? Our Father and our God in heaven, we want to thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, we thank you also for our lives, for our health, and for strength. And Lord, this is because of those blessings that we are able to embark on this event. Lord, as we marched, as we worked, as we exchanged pleasantries, Lord, as we were happy to see each other, we thank you, Lord, and we remember those who were not able to join us this day because of the reason for which we took this work. Lord, we ask that as you bless the doctors who treat, you will be the healer, for you are the mighty healer. We also want to thank and remember in prayers those who organized this match, Lord. Lord, continue to bless them, continue to give them the fortitude, continue to give them the innovation and the innovative minds to think of ways and means to help and support those who are suffering from this deadly disease, cancer. Lord, we also pray for those who are looking for medications day and night, that Lord, you will give them the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding to look for the medication that would heal and cure those who suffer from disease. Lord, as we come to the end of the match and we are gathered here, Lord, to bring everything that we have done today to an end, we ask, O oh Lord, that you will take your place among us and you will bless us and you will continue, Lord, to keep us in good health and in strength. And you will keep us, Lord, as one people, one nation, to the glory of your holy name. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Good afternoon. First Lady, Madam Fatima Tambaraba, Lady Saja, the Minister of Health, Mr. Ahmed Samate, Minister of Women's Affairs, Mrs. Ami Favre, Minister of Agriculture, Mrs. Fatu Kinte, <laughs> Minister of Agriculture, Mrs. Ami Favre, Minister of Women's Affairs, Mrs. Fatu Kinte, um, the Minister of Education, that's Mrs. Claudia A. Cole, the UNFP representative, Mr. Kole, dignitaries, and all protocols respectfully and duly observed. We say thank you very much to everybody who joined us today because this is a fight for people that have lost their lives to cancer and the people that are fighting. Um, then I invite Aji Dafe, Aji Kuma Dafe, I'm not seeing like, so one of them. <laughs> Aji Kuma Dafe, then I know who knew about the Cancer League, Panda Kumase, why we're doing it at Lamo Isimolo Bitain. So today I'm gonna just give a big round of applause to the Dada sisters to tell us about what the league is about. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take a moment of silence because we have lost some uh, brave warriors. I took this recently who have lost their lives. We have some brave warriors who have lost their lives uh, to the fight uh, to the fight of advocacy. Uh, I think one of those ladies is actually uh, Sise Sowane. I have to uh, bring that up because she's a great advocate and she's been fighting all fights and all grounds. So we want to take a moment of silence to not only uh, uh, pray for them but also the people that have already lost their lives to cancer. So let's take a moment of silence for 
Thank you. Well, today, it's, it's an emotional moment for me. No. Okay. No. I'm going to cry. And the reason I'm going to cry, because I see a lot of women, and men and women, out here today to fight this fight. It wasn't easy to set up the foundations that we've set up to fight cancer. The league was just set up not too long ago. I would say under six months ago. But associations have been in the Gambia here fighting for a long time. And when we decided to come together, because we, we know that together we can. We can't be impactful until we come together. So just six months ago, I myself personally reached out to every single association that is in the Gambia that is fighting against cancer. The idea was to be impactful, to bring us together under one umbrella, under one roof, under one vision, which is to sensitize, to educate, to fight cancer in the Gambia and beyond. So the call wasn't easy for everybody because everybody had their own thing that they were doing. But I think if it's something is important to you, nation building is important to you, upgrading our healthcare system, which needs a huge overhaul, is important to you, I think that we all answered the call. So hence, the Cancer Association League today. So I celebrate, and I salute, and I honor every single one of you. The Cancer Association League. So congratulations. And I want to all of you guys, we want a representative from each Cancer Association League to come and stand here because this is affordable. Leaving a Jera. Now, this is our fight, and we are going to fight together to kick cancer out. So, it wasn't easy, and the journey is not going to be easy, but I know that together we can. So, the first lady of the Gambia, we know the house. Oh yeah, the second lady of the Gambia, we know the house. And today, I introduce to you, these are the cancer warriors. These are the women in the Gambia that will advocate for cancer, that will fight for cancer. But you know,
this mammogram machine. Now I'm going to tell you that you are. That you are. Then, mammogram machine, me. Then you are. Then you are. Because you are under the gun, you are not. A gun, you are not. How are you going to get it? Warriors of cancer. Warriors of cancer. And warriors and trailblazers of cancer. Can you imagine your name now, Pia? Lila Amon Purwa, Lila Amon Purwa, Konna, so if you continue, you will not go to the joy. The fight is in your hands. Together we can. Together we will take it all. Paper organization, paper establishment. For the next time, we will take it all. We have to be honest with this. We have to be honest with this. So next time, we will have to be honest with this. You don't give, you don't give, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. We don't have to do that. This fight is our fight because say any GSM company, any any bank, so you have this money, you can be back. Because now, so you have this money, you can tell you that only 52 percent of the population cannot be marginalised. Because now, when you saw that, then you take the house, take it, take it away. I have the money, I have the money. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah taala wa barakatuh. Do you need our support? We can sit down. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody from here? Um, Nyunglindi, Nyu. We are very grateful for this moment. We are very grateful for all of you on a Saturday, on this blazing sun, walking with the women and the men of this country. The Cancer Association League of the Gambia. This is an umbrella of uh, a different cancer organization, 10 of them, that came together to advocate for women's health, to advocate for our health industry, to make women's health a priority, and also to help make health a priority in this country. Today, I want to honor every single member that came together to, to make this league happen. These people, in my opinion, they are the champion of this country. And if anything that we need to learn from Ngolo Moidole, this is what it is. I want the government of the Gambia to learn from these 10 groups of people, 10 charitable organizations that came together. We're in a, in, a, in a crossroad in this country. And what this league has achieved is an example of what we are trying to achieve in this country for everybody to come together and fight the good fight. The good fight. The good fight and hold in solidarity to heal this nation because a nation that is not healed mentally will actually is prone to all of these cancers because stress is one of the major, major causes of cancer and so many ailments. So today, the League held to hands together in solidarity, because voice, the League, the Cancer League Association of the Gambia, uh, we are mandated to come together to advocate uh, to our government to take women's health, to take our health and make it a priority in this country. This League is also asking for a comprehensive cancer plan in this country because our facilities need to be upgraded. We need a cancer facility here in the Gambia. Too many women are dying unnecessarily. The reason why this league starts to strengthen, the reason why we all stood to strengthen, uh, we started this, well, some of these organizations started and they moved to Senegal and they were in Senegal. And today, I want to take the opportunity in gratitude and appreciation to our champions in Senegal, the Senegalese doctors that have really championed this fight for us. 
Because as a member, as a co-member, as a co-founder of AWAKA, African Women Against Cancer, we establish here in the Gambia, but Lord and behold, God always does what is right. We end up in Senegal, and we were part of the Senegal Cancer League. And all the, uh, the patients that came from the Gambia, most of the time, by these people come, they are on the fourth stage of cancer. They are in the fourth case, uh, case of cancer, and these women all die. All of these women that had cancer from the Gambia, when they went to Senegal and the league saw them, they all died. Because early detection is key. And that is why the league is standing together to say, we need a mammogram machine in this country. We need an ultrasound machine in this country. We need a radiation machine in this country. Why not the Gambia? If all our neighboring countries have a machine, and I am telling the women of this country, you have not fought the good fight. You have not fought the good fight for so many years. Your sisters, today, there are so many women, there's statistics for every eight women, one of them will have breast cancer. Those are the statistics, and those are the international statistics. So, tell so you talk to me. In other countries, the success rate is 99%. For every 100 women today that have cancer, 99 dina wear. 99 dina fajou dina wear. Look at you in Gambia, you can fight, you can wear. So why are the women of this country not fighting the good fight? And this is the reason why it is very, very important for all of us to stand in solidarity just because you can afford to get treated. There are so many your sisters and brothers that cannot afford it. To get a mammogram, to get tested for mammogram. Mammogram is a routine test every year. If you are 35 years old, you need to get tested you know, last year, we went across the country. I went to communities that I don't even know existed. I am walking in these rooms, women wasting, wasting. I am talking about, really, it's just beyond, beyond imagination. And they are all being left to die. This is not hearsay. This is something we have seen. So here, if you think that cancer, cancer doesn't discriminate. And this is why the league is saying that the radiation machine, the ultrasound machine, the mammogram machine, which is a routine test if you're 35 years old, needs to be in this country. League, this league, we will also organize, mobilize people and mobilize funds. Yes. Mobilize funds to be able to create, get cancer care. They can be year man de bina bari. Cancer be new bari new ko am. Sen mo kai ne ko indilem tau. Win ko ame de new wait wait ay bobo. Do cancer be more than ray wait ay. So leave we leave buga na ko def. Indi everybody together. Cancer care and also to be able early detection. It is key for cancer. So today we want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for coming today and also our subsequent event. At Tamala, we are actually having a, uh, a dinner gala fundraiser. We are inviting all of you and your organizations to buy a table on the 26th of October. And also, the event of all mega events, we want to take thank our Senegalese counterpart. We are bringing the mammogram machine from Senegal. Then call, then call, then call Jilly from Senegal. Tawal Kobe Gambia. In the coffee at Ash 22nd. The second and the third. Dr. Sijogi Senegal, there are seven doctors, they are all oncologists. They know that they have biopsies, they have tests for cervical cancer. They also have a mammogram machine for you to check. 
However, cell breast examination still has a role to play in the early detection of breast cancer. We should not forget it completely. Each month, each woman should palpate the breast for any possible lumps. We should never neglect it. Cell breast examination, we still advocate for that. Mammography screening, as has been mentioned, is very, very important. And we are happy that the efforts of the Cancer League are geared towards the acquisition of a new mammography machine for that purpose. But we are equally happy to announce here that due to the personal, ex the personal intervention and advocacy and commitment of His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Mr. Adam Abaro, we have received a brand new mammography machine at the Edward Francis Multi Hospital this week. So certainly we tell the Cancer League, your, 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 your people are listening to you, people are listening to the women of this country, the government certainly is listening. So if the Cancer League, when the Cancer League brings another one, we make sure that there is coverage throughout the whole country because the Gambia does not stop at Banjo. I cannot conclude my statement without thanking the eminent personality here present for their support to the Minister of Health, especially the First Lady. And, and Madam Sajo, who have complemented our efforts in many areas in the health sector. We are certainly very, very grateful to the organizers of this major and all their partners for the continuous effort in this battle. We are in this together, it's our common fight. With these few remarks, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for gracing this occasion and I look forward to your continued collaboration and partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Samate. And we would like to applaud the government for actually procuring uh, mammogram machines. So we say thank you very much. But we know one is not enough. We are talking about the whole country. So the league, um, as we said at the beginning, the aim and our objective is to get one. So we would definitely keep fighting and keep working towards that goal. So once again, um, as, and then you guys have heard Dr. Samate mention that one is not enough. So again, we would keep our fight, keep pushing to procure another one. We can extend the usage outside of just greater banjo. And, but then, just as he's mentioned, we're selling cards, t-shirts, and mugs um, by the Treasure World Women on that side. And every proceed will go towards getting the mammogram machine. I just see the guy, who is a cancer survivor, and she would give us a little breakdown about her journey from when she knew she had cancer and how she's been living with it until now she's free from cancer 100%. So, Mamuga, you get time to Ida. Mom, please don't go. Get in a new hour. I want to say thank you so much to everybody, but I want to first thank this beautiful, beautiful lady. Assalamu alaikum. has been a long time coming, a really long time. It was okay. I am happy. I am extremely, extremely happy. Today I'm content. Because I know that I have a lot of people who are here. I have a lot of people who are here. I have been here for six years ago. Why? For man, hair bit. Yalla ham na ne dunda na ako wai. Hair bit ma hair bit for man. For suman boka ile kafi. Pas ke dem na be Senegal Islam ni dem fo kudi fali. Te sun dem enyo kena rek nyo fadeneka. 
So this fight is not for me. I want them to be in their country. You need a citizen with the Kadifani. You need a fee send book. You will learn. You get new them finen. Did them the Senegal. The Galaser na top. You them before for the fight. The man gum na ni. You ma gis fee time. Ma gis to the hall. Who need a gum na ni? Did na am. Fee cancer center bin fi sohla. Did na ko am buso be yala. Because ham na ni. Nya di di ni di nyuba ni di seka. Man ham na ni. Ham na ni. Don't come from a city to come to seka. Doctor Samad, I'm going to be smoking cigarettes. I'm going to be you again. Because get the first one, Chima. But it's for a reason. Leave me now. I'm not going to let anyone hold me down. Because get top again, continue again. It's here. You never knew you were here. Why? The reason why we're fighting is not for us. For none, at none, at none. You have no amne ko. It's here. You have no hamne amne ko. At some door. Small one, I'm going to be because get a. For the past year, man, there was another survivor who was a new Tahoe video hammer. Thankfully, today I'm not Kenyan for new Tahoe video hammer. For now, we know many more how many more. So, man, there is more. The two survivors are here. I don't even know them by name, but I want them to come here with me. And here she comes. We have another gentleman too that is here. Yes, sir. A lot of people don't understand. They think breast cancer, but this is not just breast cancer, it's cancer in general. Yes, it's pink October, and we're fighting for breast cancer, which is for women, but this also affects men. So I'm gonna pass the mic on to my fellow warriors. So they you meet up with There's one more. There's one more. There's one more. She's actually a patient. She's actually suffering. Uh, the There's a patient. Okay. And I thought to myself, you know what? Let my doctor, my doctor give me a checkup. My doctor give me a checkup and he says, hey, your PSA is very high. Cancer, prostate. And that's when my journey starts. I'm still on the journey. I had radiotherapy in 2013. I thought I was happy in 2016. And then they say, hey, you have problems. Again. But there's something I want my brothers to understand. How many men are here? Let me see. Men stand up. I will do a little exercise. Men stand up. Come on. I'm doing a little exercise. All right. The ones over 40, stand up. The younger ones, sit down. The younger ones, sit down. Right, who? Amongst the men, who have had a PSA now? Nobody. Doctor, you have a PSA? What's your PSA? You don't know your PSA. Doctor Ja, you have one. Next one. Each PSA is $600. Cent. But with that PSA, it can tell us if we are on the journey. If we have, you can sit down. Sorry, yeah. If you had a brother, if you had a brother, and that brother passed on. Why did he pass on? We need to know. My sister here is a survivor. I will say I'm a survivor. You are. But I'm on the treatment. Yes. And each treatment is... Okay. You're on a journey, sister. She's fighting. 
I start in 2016, 2012. I'm still here. Okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Okay, okay. If we talk, somehow, to you. And this can happen to any one of us. Cancer does not discriminate. It's not even about cancer. They will discriminate. This can happen to any one of us. And as Ida said, to you know what if you next year, um, I mean, uh, the lady there, stand up here and give us her story. She'll be a survivor. We will not let her fight on her own. We will all fight with her together. Because now I'm clever, I'm you not Japanese, I'm you not dollars. It helps in the healing process. So we're telling you, you're not alone. We're all we're all in this together. Tembola white one is together in the Jacqueline. Could you make a little moon back? Could you that inshallah you would come, the narrative would change and you would explain your story. Um, we will just call on the Minister of Women's Affairs, Mrs. Pan Kinde, to give a few words. <laughs> Thank you very much, the chairperson of the occasion, the first lady, Madame Pantubal Baro. Second lady, I wish to thank you very much for this occasion. And the doctors who are present with us, giving us support, my colleague ministers, the UNFP representative, Mr. Kulia Lenei, representative of UNICEF, and seeing this at the start around here, and Dr. Awasi, the League of Associations Against Cancer, the Bagamigo, all the women who are present here, the media, our main supporters, I look at she, all protocols respectfully and duly observed. I want to thank very much the organizers for coming up with this initiative. Yes, cancer is a deadly disease, but it can be cured when detected early. This will require a lot of awareness creation so that women can for, come forward for testing and then those who are positive will be required for cure. We promote women and women's advancement. For the real advancement of women if they fall sick and die all the time. We can only achieve the economic empowerment of women if women are healthy. A sick person cannot attend a training program. A sick person cannot attend a program on empowerment. So this means um, one has to be sick, so one has to be well before you can attend any program. Health is very important. Without health, there will not be any development. And since cancer is a health risk to women, I want to ask all women to join the fight against cancer. We are all part of the fight. We are all joining the fight today, and we are going to continue fighting until we are able to eliminate cancer from the surface of the Gambia and from the surface of the earth. So I now call upon Chief Guest of Honor, Mrs. Special Guest B, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia, Mrs. Fatima Baro. Mrs. Fatima Baro. Adi, the two Adis and the league members, can you please join me?
here. My angel promise me, you call them right now, and I will always fulfill my promise. That's the reason why I don't give promises. Adi, go and have a proposal. I will lead you people to all GSM companies and to all banks. So Your Excellency, Lady Sajon Balo Baro, my dear sister, Honorable Minister of Health, Education, Agriculture and Women Affairs, the resident representative of UNFPA, the special advisor to HE, my darling, my fatty, the permanent secretaries and head of public institutes, partners and sponsors, members of the Cancer League Association Gambia, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, member of the press, good afternoon. It is with great pleasure and honor that I welcome you all to the Independent Stadium today as the Gambia joins the Cancer League Association. My office and the foundation in my office and my foundation in the fight against breast cancer and, um, and raising awareness. October is marked as Breast Cancer Awareness Month when people wear pink ribbons to express their support for all those suffering from breast cancer worldwide. We will all know that no individual or a single person can tackle this fight, the burden of cancer. I would like to comment and applaud all members of the Cancer Association League, the Gambia, for coming together to speak and work with one voice. I wish to assure you my support as we are all in this together. Ngolo my darling. Cancer is a growing problem and it is one of the leading cause of death in Africa. In the Gambia, breast and cervical cancer are the leading causes of death among women. Each year, about 14.1 million new cases of cancer occur globally, and in 2017, cancer caused about 8.2 million deaths. More than 60% of the world's total new annual cases occur in Africa, Asia, Central and South Africa, America, and these regions recount for 70% of the world cancer deaths. Cancer facility can be reduced and controlled by implementing evidence based on statistics for its prevention, early detection, ra raising awareness and managing management of patients. Many cancers have a high chance of cure if detected early and treated adequately. Sadly, all of our cancer patients seek medical assistance often too late when the disease has already reached an advanced stage, whereby making it difficult to cure. Can breast cancer is curable disease once detected early. However, with the lack of awareness and existing of opportunities to equally tackle the disease effectively, most becomes the, the most of the cancer patients die. The narrative must change. Together with the Minister of Health, my office in engaging positive with various stakeholders, such as religion, traditional and community leaders, civil societies, organizations, private sectors, and the media to raise cancer awareness, prevention, and treatment program in the Gambia. Furthermore, we have partnered with the Cancer League Association, the Gambia, to bring the much needed mammography machine and make it accessible to all Gambians. We will also pursue 
tirelessly to engage and work with the World Health Organization and health organization that affordable cancer treatment in the Gambia. I would like to thank you all for coming in large numbers to work with us. Like my husband, His Excellency Adam Abaro, many of you are determined to support. The organizers, my office and the Ministry of Health in this common objective to find to fight against cancer and for this I am grateful to you all thank you very much